We're tracking a pair of stories that are breaking overnight out of Providence. Police are investigating. They are looking for up to four people who fled the scene of a two-car crash on Allen's Avenue. We're also learning more about a stabbing last night on Doyle Avenue. Both of the scenes are shown here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. And Eyewitness News reporter Julian Lima is live at the Providence Public Safety Complex with more. Yeah, it was a busy night for Providence police as they investigate a pair of incidents that left two people badly hurt last night. Now, I did speak to officers earlier this morning over the phone. They had some new information for us this morning, confirming that the victim in last night's stabbing is now in stable condition at Rhode Island Hospital. Now, I want to give you a look at what the scene looked like around 8 o'clock last night. A very large police presence on Doyle Avenue near North Main Street. Police tell us the 42-year-old victim and the suspect were seen arguing just before the man was stabbed. Witnesses tell us he was stabbed in the back. Our crew saw officers taking pictures of a bloody wooden pylon believed to be the weapon used in the attack. Hours later and a few miles away, police were called to Allen's Avenue after a serious car crash around midnight. Police tell us this dark gray sedan collided with another car, pushing it into a building. That driver, a 40-year-old Cranston woman, was rushed to the hospital. Police tell us her injuries are serious, but not life-threatening. We're also told the driver and several passengers in the second car fled the scene. They took off on foot before officers arrived. Now, police tell us they have not made any arrests in either incident. However, they are following some leads. If you have any information, you're asked to call them. Reporting live outside Providence Police Headquarters, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News.